um, just we think that these are very uh, disturbing and serious um, allegations and we take them uh, as such. Uh, we've already been in contact today with OSBI and we stand ready to work and support um, or assist in any way with these criminal um, investigation that is going on right now. Um, I think it's very important to underscore that there is great need for accountability with every single taxpayer dollar and if indeed there is any sort of fraud, uh, that is something that we need to let the legal process take its course and, and uh, do its work. Um, I'm really thinking mostly right now about um, many of the families and students that um, may be confused and have uh, stress today uh, with these recent um, developments. And um, so, you know, our, our thoughts are with them. We support them. And we know as school is getting ready to start, this is something that could cause additional concern and confusion for them. Uh, but for the uh, point I want to underscore again, this is very serious. And it is, again, a work that we will continue to assist with any investigation as it moves forward. And uh, I'll be happy to answer any questions if I may. Um, I have been um, today asked in our conversations with OSBI, um, there are some things we're just not going to be able to talk about. And we've been requested not to comment um, in some ways. Are there any actions uh, you can take uh, in your authority and capacity as superintendent with regard to EPIC, whether they're accreditation or any things that, that you're considering taking at this moment? Well, again, it, this is ongoing. And so we'll let the investigation work and um, run its course. But we are working with authorities now. What, what kind of oversight has there been over the years with EPIC in terms of funding and also just the education aspect of it? Sure. Um, you know, this is something that all schools, all public schools have uh, particular oversight uh, with the uh, various federal dollars and state dollars that come into the agency um, and then are distributed to school districts. And there's also, in this case, virtual charter school board. Um, I would say also that this is a um, area that, you know, digital um, platform for delivering virtual education is something that um, we are finding the legislature is certainly needing um, every year to keep pace with changes in technology and changes in how that is delivered. So uh, I think that's a, a factor in how we move forward as well. And we'll be examining at all of the steps as things are unfolding. Again, um, this is still something that is in process. Do you think that more regulations are needed for this arena of education? You know, this is something that we would respond to based on any findings. Uh, if the findings are found to be true, what do you foresee happening to EPIC? I think I, think I can't answer that question. Um, records show the co-founders of EPIC schools have donated about 26000 to your political campaigns. How has that impacted your oversight of EPIC schools and taxpayer funding in the past and now? Well, they're one of many. Um, and, and there's just really not an impact that's not a factor. Um, we, we work and serve the school families and children of Oklahoma, and uh, that is a normal part of a campaign. And beyond the investment factor, there is allegations that students weren't getting the proper education that they deserved. What's your response to that? Well, we have a school accountability system that, that actually does provide information about students and how they perform on assessments and we do have very uh, I think strict guidance on how we are measuring um, student performance so that is transparent and that is on our website already um, that's that is part of the State Department of Education's role in measuring the success of the instruction given I have one more are you considering any type of 
accused of actions against Epic? Well, again, this is something that is in a invest, active ongoing investigation, and so it would be, I've been asked not to comment on that. Thank you all. Thank you. Yeah.